Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Rob Trek where I try to answer your questions from the comments sections in my other videos and I got a couple more yesterday and I really appreciate it because I wouldn't be able to make these videos unless you ask me questions right so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below. All right so let's start with the first question it says hi Rob thanks for your body of knowledge you share and still share uh, is there no way to fire and sequence all the shots without programming? I saw this on Panasonic and minus the G9. It seems more handy and with stabilization, three to five shots can be managed without a tripod. All right, so let me give you a little more context of this question. This was on a video I made, uh, my goodness, five years ago. It was only my eighth episode on YouTube, but it's about bracketing. And uh, what I did in that video is I showed you how to use the custom timer to automatically bracket the shots. So if you set up a bracketing sequence of say, three shots plus or minus one EV, you could set up the custom timer so that it would automatically delay the first shot by whatever you set, say five seconds, and then it would automatically take the next two shots uh, with whatever interval you set, say one second. So basically that, that's really good for tripod use because you push the shutter button and then you take your hands off the camera and it minimizes any kind of vibration that may happen uh, during the bracketing sequence. So you get sharper images, all that good stuff. However, uh, there is a way to do what you're asking us, say, to uh, hand hold and bracket shots. And there's really two ways, and it's going to depend on the camera that you have. Now, in that video, I used the Pen F. Uh, so this is going to be true for a lot of the Olympus cameras, but there's going to be an exception. And I'll show you what those are because it's going to depend on the camera you have. All right, so let's take a look at this on my Pen PL8. Now, in the previous video, what I did is I, we turned on bracketing mode like so, and I got three frames plus or minus one. Click OK, so now bracketing is on, and we have the bracketing icon up here, and then what I did was I told you to go into the custom shutter mode, like so, and I have it set up for a five second delay before it takes the first shot, take three shots, half second in between each one, with autofocus turned off because normally you're going to autofocus on the first shot before you start the timer anyway. So now when I push the shutter button, I can push it, let go, and if we're on a tripod, this will help minimize the... Uh... So the question was, how can you do this handheld? Implying, you know, you want the frames to fire off as quickly as possible. So all you have to do is change your mode to a continuous uh, low or continuous high. I recommend continuous high so they fire off as fast as possible. And then press and hold the shutter button. And it'll fire off those three frames. And even if I continue to hold the shutter button, like so, it's not going to take more than three frames. It's going to automatically stop. And then I can just let go and we're done. Now, an exception that I found was on my OM1. You know, we go into the menu and I have my bracketing set up for three frames plus or minus one EV. However, this camera doesn't let me choose anything other than sequential high or sequential silent. And I haven't found anything in the menu that I can activate the custom shutter or any of the other shutter modes, uh, which is unfortunate because if you're on a tripod, you're forced to push the shutter button and, and hold it while it's on the tripod, which could introduce shake. So it's not ideal in my opinion. I like the uh, custom shutter that we used to have on the other Olympus cameras, including my EM5 Mark III. So just be aware of that when you're setting up your bracketing because you may have the same issue. And really your only option now, if you're on a tripod to minimize vibration is to uh, use a remote shutter to start the sequential shooting. So this next question wasn't really a question directed to me, but when I read the comment, uh, I said something's not right. So I thought I'd try and address it here. So this is from John Barnard from my video on the exposure compensation button. And uh, he says that he uses the camera in aperture priority, so the front dial is automatically mapped to exposure comp, and he doesn't need to use the button. However, he says, when I change to manual mode, uh, things change. He says, I no longer have control over exposure compensation. He says, oddly enough, in M mode, when I switch the function lever to position two, ISO control switches to the rear dial, and the front dial doesn't seem to do anything. It's just dead. That's not right. The front dial should be doing something. So let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so let me show you what he's talking about. Basically, I'm in manual mode as indicated here. And the rear dial is shutter speed. The front dial is aperture. So I rotate the rear dial. I get shutter speed. I rotate the uh, front dial here. 
and I'm adjusting the aperture. However, when he flips the lever to position two, you can see now the only thing that works is the rear dial is for ISO, which I can change. But the front dial, if I turn it, nothing changes because there's nothing here in yellow for me to change. And, and whenever there's something yellow, that means it's something you can adjust. So what you have to do is you need to put this into auto ISO. And now we have exposure comp assigned to the front dial by default. As you can see, I'm changing it here because exposure comp only works in auto ISO. As soon as you go out of auto ISO, exposure comp's disabled, hence the front dial is disabled. Now, if you like to use uh, manual ISO and not auto ISO, you can assign the front dial to do something else when you're in function lever two. So you just go into the menu and you go to dial settings and dial function in photo mode and then go down here to manual and bulb mode and as you can see the first two here are for when you're in function lever one as indicated on the it's it says here it's showing you a little picture here you're on function lever setting one but if we go over here we're now on function lever setting two and you can see it's assigned to exposure comp, but you can change this to be anything anything that's in here, not anything you want, but let's just change it to be exactly the same, whether we're, we're in function lever one or function lever two, and just click OK. And now you can see my shutter speed and aperture are back. And if I need to change the ISO, I'll have to go into the super control panel and do it. But whether I go to position one or position two, my dials stay the same. And you can customize this any way that you want, uh, obviously. And, it's, and the same holds for all of the other modes on the camera. So that's how you get the functionality back to the front dial. When you're in function lever two, you just go into the dial, dial settings menu. Now, I do have a full tutorial on how to use the function lever for the EM1 Mark III, uh, but I haven't done one for the OM1, but it's pretty much the same. But I, if, if you guys want me to do one on the OM1, I can do that. Uh, just let me know. But hopefully you found that helpful. If so, consider buying me a coffee or making a small donation. Helps me make these videos. And I really appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you again soon.